Hello everybody, I am up and ready. Hello. Oh, and so is Stefania. And it's a really special day today. It's a nice way to kick off this vlog. Stefania? It's my nonno, my grandfather's 100th birthday today. 100 years old, isn't so, that amazing? So good. So it's her Italian grandfather, he's turned 100 today. And we had all this stuff planned for him, but obviously because of lockdown, it's not happening. He was going to have a party here. In Italy. He's going to have a party in Italy. But we'll do it, just can't now. But we are going to bring the party to him. We're going to have balloons and a bit of cake and just make this day special because he deserves it. He deserves but we it. wanted to show you, Steph found this really cute card, which I just think is so nice. How cool is that? That's his name, Paolo. Paolo's his name. born 1920. Happy 100th birthday. So and it's got facts from the 1920s on it, which is just so cool. Like it was so interesting reading them when it came. So I'll, I'll read you a few. The average car price was 270 pounds. A pint of beer cost five pence. Imagine. That's great, he pays six pounds. A loaf of bread, two pence. Average annual salary was £237. A litre of fuel, four pence. The world population hit 1.961 billion. Average house price was £320. The first night bus services were introduced in London. First Bentley cars were delivered to customers. A couple of songs, popular music, Paul Whiteman, Whispering. Mamie Smith, Crazy Blues. Two. Bangers. Bangers. <laughs> well, I just thought that was such a great card, a great find. Well done, Steph. Thank you. Where did you get this? Just on eBay. It was like three pound, free delivery. And you can write what you want inside as well as the front. The paper's like old The paper. paper's lovely. It's nice quality. Mm. Um, but I will link that all below for you. So if you guys want to grab one of these, you can get any year, I think, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. any year for any name, obviously. So... It's a nice, it's a nice card. So now we're going to go on the hunt for numbered balloons because we need a one, a zero and a zero and we've looked everywhere and we can't find any or the delivery date is June, July. So we've know a few shops have opened and we're gonna go and try and find them. The this is poppers. so last minute. Party poppers, balloons. I think that's it. He's I got a few surprises as he's well. He's got a few surprises and we're gonna take you guys along with us. This is gonna be fun, fun day, boiling, Upper lip is just sweating. Proper sweating. Gross, it's 26 degrees and it's not even midday. Lovely though, so grateful, feel like we're in Italy. Mm. We're gonna look like gremlins by the end of the day. Should we get ready and go? Okay, so I'm ready, but before I leave, I'll quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. My whole outfit's sustainable from head to toe. The shoes are Bava. I'll link everything in the description box for you below. The handbag is a bamboo clutch, it's so cute. I use it every summer. And that's available on my website, so again, I'll link that for you. The dress is actually something I'm working on. I wanna know what you guys think. Do you love it? Do you not? Do you want it? And the necklace is from Kind Collection. It's an absolutely gorgeous jewellery brand. I love their pieces. And the rest of my jewellery is just old jewellery I've had for years and years and years, passed down. And that's what I'm wearing today. It's perfect, so hot outside. This is just airy. And like I said, everything is completely sustainable. Right, I better go, so I'm probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. Okay, we're in Tesco's now because we can't get these balloons, but we have just heard that apparently the pub that is throwing him a little celebration that he's been going to for years just outside his house, have got a hundred, like a one zero zero balloon. Sorted. So sorted, but now we're getting a mask. <laughs> we're just getting some party stuff and we just found some pop, party poppers. They don't balloons. have this one behind us. Should I get him an 18 one? Just for jokes. He's not far off. He thinks he's 18 anyway. He does think he's, he's 18. <laughs> um, so else? yeah, we're gonna just see. There's loads of stuff there. We've arrived at Citro's. If you guys have never been to this restaurant, it's an authentic Italian restaurant. Everything's homemade, the sauces, the pasta. Obviously it's not open, but they do have 
a deli thing going on at the moment. So they're selling lots of Italian produce and still doing their homemade sauces and pasta. I'll show you. Hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> um, so these are some of their sauces. And this is the chef. This is the man that's made it all. Also the oils. What oils have you got here, Nance? Habanero oil. Habanero. Coffee. Slowly cooked. Obtain maximum sweetness and nuttiness. Amazing. And over here, look guys, I mean, homemade. Nuncio made these with his own hands. Pre-Covid and post-Covid, we will be back to restaurant. Enjoy it, man. Thank you. I'm going to give you an ice cream. You will. Mm. Let's just have a little peek. Amazing. Just put that away before anyone needs it. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have an amazing day. Bye. The pizza. Karen's here too. I wouldn't eat it. Hello. Don't come down, don't know. A hundred years old! Buon compleanno! How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah? Are you having a good birthday? I'm a young man. What's your secret? I don't know. Hi, Gay. Hello, guys. Hello. We've got pizzas from Chitinos. Yeah, thank you. We'll have them tonight. Grazie, grazie. Hey, 
It is quarter to six and myself and Stefania are up, ready, ready to ready. leave the house because we are going to New Spitterfields Market, which is in Leighton. And it is basically a big wholesaler, fruit and veg wholesaler that shops buy from, like your newsagent shops. Actually, many people buy from there. Restaurants, restaurants New yeah. Quality, now it's not restaurants. And we get dates from there. We get 10 kilos of dates. Medjool dates. Medjool dates. And they are a lot cheaper than the stores. And we also do get a bit of fruit and veg from there if we can. Mm. We don't know what the current situation is with the whole lockdown, but we have been told that we can get in and we've asked if we can get just a box of dates. So they said that will be fine. Yeah. So we're going to stock up just in case we can't get in or another lockdown wants to happen. We need our dates. We need our dates. It literally is the only thing we use for sweetness in things. I don't know what's wrong with this cat. What's wrong, Monkey? I don't know what's wrong with him. It's so weird. Like on the wall. Anyway, we're going to get going. It's open between midnight and nine o'clock. So that's why we're up early. You can't go during the day. So we're going to get going because it's already getting a bit late. Since we're having to leave the house, our green juice is in a takeaway mug. Because you can't down it, it just doesn't, it's just not good to, mm. to do that. So we've got that, we're ready, and we're gonna go. This is it, it's literally a huge warehouse filled with fruit and veg. And it looks like a lot of places aren't actually open today or they're already closing up, so we better head in. Our dates. Yay. Yay, we found them. They are still Yay. 25 pound a box. And we were sorry, it was wrong. It was five kilos five a box, kilos. which is brilliant. So very happy. We're home. We've got what we needed and more. <laughs> Just got the last we got a lot. box of dates. Oh, that's a workout. I'm holding passion fruit. Put in the box in and that is everything that we bought it worked out to be a lot cheaper yeah than usual yeah it's weird i thought it was gonna be more unless it's the fact that the shop prices have gone up so this seems cheaper we don't know but we just we just took advantage of the situation basically we got bananas not bad we got ginger we got a box of lemons avocado papaya dates and garlic what is this one again oh yeah and the passion fruit as well. So just for you guys to get an idea, this box of bananas was £14. Then box of lemons was... Lemons was £16. £16. Pounds. The Medjool dates are five kilos and they are £25 a box. The garlic, which is here, was, I think, 20, 20 yeah. You can see... Like... <laughs> Yeah, that's a <laughs> that is a lot of garlic for wow. for twenty pounds. Then the ginger, yeah. ten kilos of ginger, nineteen pounds. Nineteen pounds. That is like there's a lot in here. Yeah, there's so much. And the papaya, which was six papayas, it was twenty four pounds. Twenty five. Twenty five. So it roughly yeah. works out about four pound of papaya. And then the avocados was ten pounds, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So roughly works out, I think, seventy p, seventy three p, an avocado. And they're big. And he was free. Tommy <laughs> likes avocados. Yeah, they're big. They're has avocados, which are good ones. Passion fruit were eight pounds. Eight pounds for all of those. This is really good, and these are big ones as well. I know it might seem like a lot of food for a household, but there are things that you can do, like obviously ginger keeps, garlic keeps, the dates keep. 
avocados like we buy everything really ripe like even the bananas they're very green so they should um keep for a while but you can freeze the bananas and also the lemon the lemon juice can be frozen the papayas we eat quite quickly another idea is to get a few friends and family together and just split the costs of each box and then you can just split what's in it equally so me and steph do that between two we obviously live in the same house and we use the same amount but we would sometimes even do it with my mom or some of our friends if we don't feel that we're going to use that much but i just think especially in lockdown you're eating constantly from home so you will consume this a lot quicker than you would on a normal day so yeah we're very happy we're all stocked up i'm very excited to eat papaya every morning and now we're going to go for a really long walk we've been doing these four hour walks where we just get out in nature and not be on the phone and not be on the computer and not be doing any work yeah good exercise so I think we're going to do that for the rest of the day, aren't we? Yeah. What are you doing? Just going to walk my basil. Guess what day it is today? <laughs> it's Tommy's birthday. And he's ready. Look at his birthday bow tie. Tommy, you look so smart for the day. Tommy's birthday. It's Tommy's birthday. It's Tommy's birthday. He looks so smart. Tommy's three today. And we've basically given him, should we tell everyone the story, Tommy? Should we tell everyone the story? He's a big boy. Let's sit down and do story time. So, Tommy, has his birthday on the 23rd of May because that is my grandmother's birthday. The reason why is because Tommy is actually my grandmother's cat, my, <laughs> my grandmother in Italy. And when she was very unwell, um, she was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer. She only had a few months to live and she called me and asked for me to get her a cat when I arrived in Italy. And my grandmother was the type of woman that didn't like animals in the house. If I ever asked her for a cat or anything, she would literally go mad. So it was a bit unusual that she'd asked me for a cat. And I just sort of said, yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. And then literally the next day, my dad called me and he said to me, you're never gonna believe this, but I opened the front door this morning and there was a little kitten sitting on the doorstep. And he's walked into the house and he's sitting with your grandmother. And that little kitten was Tommy. He turned up at my grandmother's house and like where we live is like, it's not, I can't explain, it's like in a cove, like an alcove, you can't, it's not on the street, like it's quite difficult to get in. But this little monkey found his way in and he basically stayed with my grandmother until she died. Before she died, she said to me, what are you gonna do with Tommy? What are you gonna do with Tommy? And I promised her that I would bring him to London and I would look after him and I have. Because it was around her birthday, like where we gauged his age, we just thought, why not give him Nonna Elvira's birthday? So he has the same birthday as Nonna. And that's the story. That was a nice story, Tommy, wasn't it? Are you trying to say hello? So, Tommy's ready for the day. He's gonna go. Are you gonna go find your girlfriend? Tommy has literally just fallen asleep on the window sill. Did that story make you tired, Tommy? Hmm? Are you all pooped out? Oh, so adorable. Anyway, aside of it being Tommy's birthday, we have just a busy day of content, working and organizing, just the usual. I think it's about time that I end this week's vlog here. It's been super jam-packed. We've had so much happen, so many birthdays. Um, and made a ton of memories. It's been so nice. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us and sharing those moments. And yeah, let me know what you think. Comment below. Let me know if there's anything that you particularly want to see. Also, don't forget to subscribe, of course. Show me some love and I will see you next week.